Anthony Campus is a powerful digital tool used by the Clark County School District in many capacities. It is used for student information, data storage, notifications, learning management, human resources, food service, finance, and much more. The most valuable way Infinite Campus can be used by parents is as a constant and up-to-date tracker of children's grades and progress through the academic year. This video will show parents and guardians the steps on how to access three very important documents, progress reports, report cards, and the unofficial transcript. First, I'm going to log into the Infinite Campus Parent Portal by starting on the ccsd.net website, clicking on Infinite Campus, then on the Go to Campus Parent Student blue button, and then clicking on the campus icon. On the next screen, click on the bottom Campus Parent blue button so that you will have access to all your students in the Clark County School District. Then enter your username and password. If you have forgotten any of your login information, you can click on the help buttons below or contact 702-799-PORT-7678. After logging into your account, please check the middle message center for any important news from the district, your child's school, or teacher. To access your child's progress report, report card, or unofficial transcript, go to the menu on the left-hand side of your screen and click on the second to last option documents. Your child's name should appear in the right-hand corner of the documents page. If you have more than one student in the Clark County School District, there will be a small arrow next to the student's name. Clicking on this arrow will show you all your students that are currently enrolled in our district. Click on the child you wish to review. Back in the center of the documents page, you will see several documents that you can review. First, Make sure that the school year is set for the current year. If not, press on the arrow on the right-hand side to select the correct school year. Under the Report Card section, you will see an option for Progress Report and Report Card. Let's start by looking at the Progress Report. At the top of the Progress Report is the Attendance Summary by Quarter. This information is also available by clicking on the Attendance tab in the main menu. This student is currently in high school and receives half a credit for each class that is completed with a passing grade at the end of each semester. Progress reports are meant to show how well the student has done by the midpoint of the semester, which is about the 10th week of instruction. This information can be used to either encourage the student to continue on their successful path or to show areas in which the student is struggling. It is important to remember that students' grades can be found at any time by going to the Grades tab on the left-hand side. Parents can also receive notices of a change in their child's grades by clicking on the Person icon in the top right-hand corner. Click on Settings, then Notification Settings, and checking which notifications they wish to receive. Click on Save before leaving this page. As always, if you have any questions about your child's progress or grades, please contact your child's teacher or school administration. As parents, guardians have immediate access to grades through Campus Parent, the district will no longer print and mail report cards home. Report cards are available for access about one week after the end of each semester. To access, go back to the main menu on the left-hand side and select Documents and then click on the option which states either elementary or secondary report card. Secondary report cards are sectioned with attendance at the top of the report and then by each class. Elementary report cards will have a grading scale and a key at the top left, an attendance summary at the top right, and then the grades will be sectioned by content area. Special subjects and learner behaviors will be found at the bottom of the report. Important information about your child's progress can be found in the comments section. If you have any questions or concerns about any of the information on your child's report card, please feel free to contact your child's teacher, counselor, or administration for clarification. Unofficial transcripts are useful for parents or guardians who need a quick verification of their child's enrollment in school and progress history during the student's time in the district. Although these unofficial transcripts will not be accepted for admission purposes to colleges and universities, they will often be accepted by athletic offices, employers, and even some scholarship organizations. 
To view your child's unofficial transcript, click on the Documents tab from the main menu on the left-hand side, and then choose the bottom option for either Custom Unofficial Transcript or Transcript Unofficial. The unofficial transcript will open in a pop-up window, which you can enlarge at the top right corner. You can also increase the size of your view with the plus and minus buttons. At the top, you will find the name and numbers of your child's school, your child's full name, and student number. If your child is in high school, more information is included, so it will be accessible for official transcripts as well. Please review all this information to make sure it is correct. If any of the information is incorrect, please notify your child's counselor or school administration so it can be corrected. Unofficial transcripts will have an attendance summary for each school year your child has been in that school and then a listing of the grades your child earned for each course. Middle school students may also find a credit summary for the classes required in order to progress to high school. High school students will find that only the courses that count towards graduation will be listed on their transcripts. There is also a credit summary to show their progress towards their chosen diploma. Any classes that the student is currently taking is listed under In Progress Courses. Please note that the unofficial transcript can be downloaded, saved to your computer, or printed by hovering your mouse over the top right of your screen.